Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another interview on Overcomers TV Live. I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh, the show host, executive producer. We're super excited to be at NRB 2024, Nashville, Tennessee, with a bunch of international Christian communicators all huddling up from Christian film, radio, television, now podcasts. The gospel is going forth, and we're super excited to have Paul Renfro as our first guest, the uh, author of Nobody Sees These Enemies, and so excited for you to join us here today, Paul. Thank you, Chuck, and I've been looking forward to this for quite a long time. You and I have had great fellowship by phone and praying together and overcome technical gremlins that the kingdom of darkness yeah. has attempted to waylay your efforts. Yeah. But here we are now, and the viewer is able to partake because the Lord is superior in our, in our mouths. Amen. We have a lot of technology going on trying to record live as well as for post-production, multiple camera angles, multiple audio tracks. Super excited because media and books, I mean, right, that was one of the first mediums is writing, you know, books, publications. Obviously, the scriptures were pen to paper. Talk about the importance of uh, a good book. Well, first of all, God is a spirit, Jesus said. Right and seeks worshipers to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's John 4, 24 with the woman at the well. And spirit, uh, because we are spirits and God is spirit. And if there's a listener who wants to be close to God, you have to understand that you must be born again as a spirit. And that's John chapter three. But it's important to have truth as well because the kingdom of darkness will inform you falsely about spirit and so you must have truth so for to, for us to have the truth god gave us his incarnate son yeah. but he only had a three-year ministry yeah. and what were we left with a bible yeah. and that bible whether you read it in print or on your phone these days that bible is the word of god yeah amen that's good and the word never comes back void but accomplishes what it was set out to do right that's and right. it's truth that's yes. how we discern truth from lies, is the spirit it, of truth, the word of truth. It is. Test everything by the scripture. Now, however, you know, there is, a, I'll be the first to tell you that we don't mature overnight, do we? I know I haven't. And so there's a lifetime of digging into the word that awaits every Christian who loves the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And if we are loose, if we play loose with his word, then it's a, a severe consequence because the best Bible students of the day crucified Jesus. You know, when we talk about evangelism and discipleship on our show, you know, Mark 16, 15 says, preach or proclaim the good news, gospel, to every living creature. And we live in a culture right now where people are scared to talk about truth. Um, do you want to talk about evangelism and, and the importance? That's the, the mission of the church, to make disciples share the gospel. Oh, see, it's easy to be afraid, but where does that fear come from? There's a falsity. The book we're going to be talking about that just came out is titled, Nobody Sees These Enemies. And they're sneaky. They're sneaky. And so the, where does that fear come from? Is it coming from God? Is it coming from your own shame? If we're afraid to own up to Jesus, he pronounced a very severe consequence. Whoever is ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of him. That's uh, Mark chapter 8. And so you have to remember that it's the enemy making us afraid. And the only way to combat it is to run right into it. Now, Christians can forget that among the people who are excluded from heaven are not only the immoral and the idolaters, but also the cowards and liars. And so it's very important for us to be faithful and truthful to the Lord Jesus. When you consider his sacrifice, Chuck, you're a, you're a pastor. Yeah, right. and, and, good. and when you consider the sacrifice of Jesus, what do you think he deserves? Why don't you tell the, the viewer? The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And he was the only one who was sinless, who didn't deserve the death penalty, 
we all do, and that's the good news, right? God, because he was God's son, conceived of the Holy Spirit through a virgin, talked about 700 years in the scripture yes. before. He said, this is gonna be a sign. You'll find a virgin with a child, and it hasn't happened before, and it hasn't happened since. So that's our Jesus. Well, it, God's, God's planning is so exquisite. Yeah. One of the things that's present in the Unseen series of books, which you, your viewer will learn how to obtain, God made three decrees in the scripture before anything existed, even angels before Lucifer, when only God existed. And those three decrees are that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. The second one is uh, that those are the people who will follow him. Yeah. And third is the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Yeah. And those three decrees are all in scripture. Right. Two of them are in Matthew 25. And then on top of that, you mentioned that Jesus was without, without sin. And so he also, the scripture also reveals that he's gonna be the judge. Yeah. It's the judgment seat of Christ we stand right. before. Right. Yeah, some will say all roads lead to heaven, no. but I will say all roads lead to the judgment seat of Christ. Yes. And the first question is, what did you do with my son? Either you received him yes. or you rejected him. And if you rejected him, that's when you'll hear, yes. depart from me, I never knew you, because you rejected yeah. him, you rejected a relationship. Yes. Now, if you received him, you don't have to be perfect. You'll never hear, I never knew you, because we talk to him all day long about our sin problem. Please forgive me again, again, <laughs> again. And we talk about it all day long. So, you know, that's And that's, that's a, what yeah. he wants is intimacy with us. He makes us alive in spirit yeah. so that we can be intimate with him. This is something that no angel, no Lucifer has the opportunity to do, be intimate with God Almighty. But we do because we're made in his image. No, Lucifer has never been able to say he's sorry and he has no privilege to repent. But we do, we can repent. And so the thing I would say to our viewers, to equip you to talk to your family and people you know, is that it is good news, but it's temporary good news. Because judgment day comes for all. And at that point, we'll be judged by a man who never sinned. Now, how do you feel about that? Yeah, that's a good point. Ephesians 4, verse 11 says, He gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to equip the body for the work of ministry. So talk a little bit about that, how everybody in the body of Christ has a part to play to do the work of ministry. Well, so listener, viewer, you're born as a spirit by faith in Jesus Christ. And do you think that you're, it's just for your own comfort? Is it only for your own rights? The flow of justice is not towards each of us. The flow of justice in reality is toward the cross of Jesus. What he did on the cross earned a justice that excels every other justice. What Jesus earned for you is forgiveness, but what he earned from you is honor for him in your mouth, in your behavior, and in your witness to other people. Yeah. And so this also includes your contribution to the body of Christ. The work of ministry belongs to the people watching this as well as to us. So I've taught many, many people over the decades and both in full-time ministry and full-time business and now full-time author, uh, I have in helped many people fulfill their contribution to the body of Christ. And I've been at deathbeds for many people. And I can tell you there's nothing more satisfying than to know that you, you have every expectation of well done, good and faithful servant. But there's another sentence that Jesus promises. Enter into the joy of your master. And don't you want that? I know I do, and yeah. I know you do. Amen. And if we don't rest on our laurels. Yeah, we're not earning good. merits, and we're not interested in demerits, because there are, uh, frankly, a lot more demerits. Amen. Well, I love how you talk about uh, how this book would impart a new paradigm of darkness. So there's some extremes where the devil's behind every rock, and anything that's bad happening in your life, you think Satan or a demon did it which is unbalanced. And then there's others who don't really even think that there's spiritual warfare going on. What would you say to have a good biblical approach to the unseen realm, uh, angels and demons? Yes. You know. So there is a tendency in modern American Christianity to uh, take a commodity approach where I get what I want to meet my needs from God. 
much church worship is promoted to meet the needs of the worship consumer. And this commodity approach to Christianity is really a setup by the kingdom of darkness. Because God made us alive as spirits, Pastor Chuck. And I'm a spirit and you're a spirit. We're a spirit with a soul in a body. And as a result, as being a spirit now, we are like the wind, Jesus said. And people of the world cannot account for us. We're unaccountable. Well, so the listener and the viewer needs to understand that if you've put your faith in Jesus, it's not just about having a happy American life. It is an enlistment in the kingdom army of God in the great war that began before people were even made. Right. Amen to that. And uh, they say if you had your spiritual glasses on, it might be a little, you might get freaked out a little bit seeing, you know, what. And that's one yeah. of the things yeah. that believers can expect is yeah. discernment, yeah. increasing discernment. Yeah. There are unique gifts, and there are people who can read your mail, right? Right. Apostle John instructed us in 1 John 4, 1, test the spirits. So we do have the ability to discern spirits. Yeah, amen to that. And uh, I love the ability to hear the voice of God too. And that's, I always say, an important day in a Christian's life when they hear the Holy Spirit nudge you to do this, do that. And sometimes to an unbeliever, you say, hey, God put on my heart to do this, or God told me to do this. You're like, what? Do you hear his voice? But he has a way of impressing things on you. He really does. Even the check in your spirit, like, whoa. Yes. You know, that little, still, small voice. We need yeah. to learn how to listen to that. You want to elaborate well, on that a little bit? Uh, yes. 1 Corinthians 15.3 says that uh, all, the word is uh, all prophecy is for edification, encouragement, and comfort. And there's this presumption in what the scripture is, contains that we have the ability to hear God for the benefit of others. So you and I, even as we dialogue, we're listening to the Holy Spirit for things that will be encouraging to a person who tunes yeah. into this right. and that person might tune in at 1 a.m. on a Saturday night when they can't sleep right. or they might tune in uh, as part of their church worship service yeah. so the voice of God is organizing and orchestrating everything and that's why the angels sing in Revelation 5 worthy are you O Lord our God work to receive glory and honor and praise and a long list of high qualities because you created all things as past tense and by your will they exist that's present tense and have their being and so our great god is holding all things together by his word of power yeah. hebrews 1 3 and it's great to participate in that as a living spirit yeah. and these privileges are so delightful for everybody who pursues the lord you know yeah yeah that's good that's good so we do this show answering a call on overcomers tv because we believe each person has a calling on their life to get involved with their time, their treasure, their talents, right? Or pray, give, go. So your website, paradigmlighthouse.com. We have your number also on the bottom of the screen showing up occasionally, 850-544-3408. For those who will hear the podcast later without the visuals scrolling along the bottom. Um, we want people to get involved or to learn more. Do you want to talk about ways people can get involved in your ministry and support it? Yes, and very, very important ways. You know, uh, I, after three decades in business, there were many times that my primary contribution to ministry was money. And it takes money to do this microphone. It takes money to print these books. Oh, yeah. And so, listener, don't underestimate if God has given you uh, a, an abundance that you can give as well. So at the paradigmlighthouse.com, one of the tabs is Paradigm Underwriters. So this past two weeks, we've received $13,000 in gifts from three people. And Praise over God. the last three years, this entire series of books has been published as a result of the gifts of other people. One person gave 22000 But I also received $71 gifts. And 71 it might seem kind of strange. <laughs> but if you go to Paradigm Lighthouse, you will see that. And, and then I also want to equip our underwriters so that they get free books and so that's very important too right. because this new paradigm of darkness and the new paradigm of being a living human spirit is something that is new to people right. and so there's a there's a growing period 
Well, it's no different from 1517 when there was a growing period as the truths of salvation by faith were restored to the church. Right. And so we have a growing period when God releases something new from the scripture. Yeah. And so we just pursue him. Amen. What did the Apostle Paul say in Philippians 3? You know that. Yeah. Whatever I had counted as gain, go ahead. It's, uh, it's lost. It's rubbish. As they say in Boston, garbage is rubbish. Or some even say dung. Uh, uh, feces or dung. Or, yes, right, that's right. Or dung or whatever. For the <laughs> surpassing worth of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. That's good. That's good. So final question. Is there anything else, Paul, that God put on your heart to share with us today before we close in prayer? I want the viewer and listener to understand you can go to Paradigm Lighthouse and get your copy of Nobody Sees These Enemies, How to Discern and Disarm Unseen Tempters. Now this is book four in the Unseen series, but you can start in, at book four and then catch the other books later because this is so practical. Our tempters are sneaky and unseen. I just read about the Garden of Eden to figure that out. And look at your own life. Well, this book will arm you with scriptures to discern and disarm unseen tempters. And when you go to Paradigm Lighthouse, leave us your email, communicate with us on the contact form. It'll, you'll get a free copy if you become an underwriter. And this book is a free book I'm giving away here at NRB. It's simply titled Inadequacy. And Chuck, listeners reach out to me but when they read my books. This is the one book that people have called me in tears. Yeah, amen. Well, I'm excited about our partnership in the gospel. Uh, I don't know if all of our viewers are uh, old enough to remember the song by Karen Carpenter, We've Only Just Begun. Yes. But uh, I know you're working with Higher Life uh, Publishing yes. and David Welday and I, we were partners. Yes. We launched Overcomers TV in, at 2020 NRB. We had our first booth together. Here we are years later. Um, God's building a team, right? So, he is. It's yeah. his body. It's the body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Well, I'd love for you to lead us in prayer. Could you? All right. Yes, I will. And uh, uh, I hope it won't disarm the viewer if I pray with my eyes open. Yeah, sure. Heavenly Father, we ask for your kingdom to come, your name to be hallowed, and your will to be done. And we offer ourselves as living sacrifices in order to please you and, uh, and bring that pleasure like Noah and his offering brought in uh, Genesis chapter 9. And so we praise you and glorify you because of the way you're reaching out to people. You love people. You don't want anybody to perish. By rights, you could have wiped out our race after we sinned in the Eden. But instead, you gave us the opportunity to repent. And even you brought forth a Savior from our own flesh. And so we praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for filling us with your Holy Spirit so that we could know your voice and walk with you and, and minister to people that you've called. And so in all things, we declare our willingness to be the replacements that you ordained to rule the earth on your behalf and to replace the kingdom of darkness so that their influence will continually diminish. And before us and the Holy Spirit within us, the gates of hell are in continual retreat. We pronounce their end is sure. Their time is short. We know they're filled with fury and we repudiate them in the name of Jesus and for his great glory. Amen. 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 Paul Renfro, make sure you get a copy of his book, Nobody Sees These Enemies. It's, uh, it's a great read. And uh, we're going to take a quick break here at NRB 2024, Nashville, Tennessee. Stay tuned. From promos and commercials to full-length shows, Horizon Media Studios can script, voice, and fully produce programming for television, streaming, and other media. For 15 years and 250 ministries, this Christ-centered 501c3 nonprofit ministry is dedicated to high-quality production and helping other nonprofits produce media. Horizon Media Studios is seeking new ministries to feature. Tell us your story, 561-313-3165.